Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 7 and another part of our career mode. Today we are taking on more of the cafe menu with our good friend Luca and seeing what he's got for us. Thank you for the support on the series so far. Keep getting involved down in the comments section below and leaving a like and all that good stuff for six Gran Turismo episodes a week. Uh, we will have a break on a Sunday for the retro show, but uh, we are going to be completing a BMW collection. So... Uh, we already have the M3 Sport Evolution. Uh, we need to get the M3 O3 and the M3 O7. So here we go. Uh, the Bavarian manufacturer BMW. Specifically, you'll be collecting the M series of high-performance sports cars. Come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cars and I'll give you your award. Ooh. Exciting. There we go in our Nissan. Good stuff. Cool. Right. So what we gonna have to do for this, I assume we're gonna have to go and race in Europe for this one. Let's have a little look. We did unlock the Nürburgring and uh, the Red Bull Ring. So we've got the Nürburgring and the uh, Dragon Trail to come up. So why don't we do the, the Dragon Trail first? Uh, we need to be in a car from this era we can use the Aston Martin actually which is quite nice so let's get using the Aston Martin then and the gift car is an M303 never driven this circuit before don't know anything about it so that boards well we're in our Aston which is nice Try our best to race as well as we did yesterday. It was good stuff yesterday. I really enjoyed it. The outside we go. Oh dear, straight into the wall. Just doesn't have the downforce, does it? Which is a shame. You know, obviously, it hasn't got any wings, which doesn't help. Go down the inside. That was just about okay nice. so up to eighth need to get up to third if we want to unlock the car this is a lovely circuit I mean look at those mountains in the background absolutely crazy but a front wing action for a bit. Wow, I mean, this game is just so undeniably beautiful. Comes around the round, out, round the outside, up to fourth place now. I mean, this car should be so much better than the the cars we're up against going to be straight into the wall. Disappointing. So can we make the move on Lopez and Rubila? Yes, we can. A little bit skittish on the corner there. Go around the outside and gets us through. Just about, but he's back through after our poor corner there. But yeah, we should be comfortably winning this race, so I'll see you when we're at the end of it. But as you can see, I don't think it would have been too interesting to continue this race on camera because uh, we have absolutely smashed the race we're gonna win by nearly 15 seconds in the end I think but we come up to the line now it is gonna be victory it is gonna be some more money in the bank and a BMW M3 nice to win in our Aston Martin as well 
So what we get in there, 25 grand. Lovely. That is what we like to see. And the BMW M3 from 2003 is in our collection now. So let's move on. And head to the next race, which will be at the Nürburgring, which I'm, I'm sure will be an entertaining race. We can, of course, use our M3 now, I think. Come on. Oh, this is so frustrating. There we go. Finally. Right. So we have got the M3, uh, which is 522 in PP. So it should be a bit more of an interesting race to use that car rather than the Aston. So let's get into it. It's in the rain as well. I wish I'd used the Aston now. But we know the Nürburgring very, very well. So here we go. Long time since I've actually raced this circuit. It's a good start. Now we haven't got any soft tyres on or like that, no wet tyres, it's just normal road tyres. BMW Z8 ahead of us, and he's got the roof down as well, is he insane? So up to ninth. Here we go. Absolutely love this part of the circuit. Yeah, should be able to make it up to at least fifth to the series of corners. So we head up the hill. Flat out in the dry, I would imagine. BMW M3 or 3 just ahead of us this is what we're driving right now I'm sure a lot of these are, are souped up well I can see third place not too far ahead here we go ooh drifted round Coming up to the chicane now. Get this slowed right down. Oh, might have to go across the grass. Just about okay. And then the final corner coming up now. Perfect. It's going to be a 2.30. 2.6 fastest lap get past Ruble up oh dear it's a big lock up couldn't do anything about that yeah just sort of aquaplane towards the, the corner and now when Big, big trouble. Because we're just under steer central now. I wonder if the rain has got worse and the conditions are just really poor out there now. I think they are. Because even the cars ahead are struggling. And I haven't actually managed to get that far in front. Considering we've had a, a nasty start to this lap. turned in oh nearly went round there this is awesome wish you could feel the vibrations of the controller that's it just feels like the car wants to give way now can we get down the inside of ruble R here have to break nice and early yeah this is okay 
Going around the outside. Perfect. Oh! Nearly lost it there, though. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Snap of oversteer. Oh! And wow! The car is slipping and sliding about. We've not driven in conditions like this the whole time. Keeping it on the track is going to be the challenge. Now, unfortunately for us, I don't think the AI will have as much of a struggle. Go down the inside there, but that's a little bit wide. Surely he's going to have us here. Not quite. So we get down on the power nice and early. And now Lopez is there for the taking. Oh, ho, ho, sliding through those corners. Onto the grass a little bit here. I'm going to have a look down the inside. This is a huge corner. Oh, we go down the inside, leaving the room. Oh, a little bit of contact. Oh, this is going to be so close. I think he's going to get it in the end. Don't think we've quite got enough grip to nail it through the final corner. We gently put the power down and we settle for second, but that was an awesome second lap with the amount of rain that was coming down. We have managed to hold on and get second in that Grand Prix. Very, very good. And that will get us 15 grand into the bank. And it gets us our BMW M3 collection complete. There it is, 2007 BMW. Very good. But yeah, that, that rain, oh, it felt awesome at the end. It was, it was great to try and wrestle the car, keep it in a straight line. Love that. Right, uh, let's head back to Luget and see what he fancies us doing next. But I enjoyed that one, that was good. Cool. So we get a three star roulette ticket. And he's going to tell us all about the BMW M3. BMW is a manufacturer that's seen great success in touring car races with cars based on retail models. At first, BMW's in-house sports division was in charge of the company's uh, motorsport activities, but then in 1972 it set up a subsidiary company called BMW Motorsport. The new company's technical specialists developed engines for formula machines as well as touring cars. In 1993, its name changed to BMW M, a name that is still in use today. The BMW series cars you see here are all retail models developed by BMW M. Okay. Even among the rest of the BMW's retail lineup, these stand out as being especially powerful and popular models. The first generation BMW M3, which made its debut back in 1985, was the base model for the company's touring car. Designed from the ground up as though it was a racing car, it remains a legend amongst M3s to this day. Cool. Ooh, Alfa Romeo collection coming up. This this is getting really exciting now. We're getting into some of Europe's great cars. So we've got three Alfa Romeos that we want to collect. The highest performance variant of several Alfa Romeo models was given the name Quadrifil Qu Quadrifolio uh, Verde. Uh, the name means green four-leaf clover in Italian. What of the cars you need to collect? The, the Compezione is the most powerful. Be sure to admire this one in your garage. There's a reward for you if you can collect all three cars. Be sure to come back once you've done it. Very good. Okay. Right, let's uh, head to our garage. We'll have a little break and see what our reward is on the three-star roulette ticket. So we could get a car in there. A big pile of Wonga. But we all know what's going to happen. We're going to get that little pile of money on the left-hand side. Oh, no! We actually get some suspensions. Very nice. And that is uh, compatible with a Toyota car. 
Right, let's head to Germany then and uh, pick up our three brand new cars, which is good. And uh, let's now head to the World Circuit. And where do they want us to go this time? So we have got uh, Alsace, we've got Brands Hatch and Sardinia. So let's go to Alsace uh, for the Clubman 600. Now, we can use um, our DB11 here. So I think that's what we'll go for. I think that's probably the best option. So let's go for that. And the Clubman Cup 600. I do like the circuit. We can get the Alfa Romeo Competizione. So we are underway. Should definitely be in a better position on the straights than these guys. Around the corners might be a bit more equal because we haven't souped up this car to be uh, a machine in races just yet but that's a very good start to this race already up to 7th place we're going to get this Renault now Renault Clio from 2000 Breaking into this corner. And the outside we go. Perfect. Onto the Audi TT. Starting to get into the real sports car range now. That's a Lambo. I think that's the first Lambo we've seen in this series so far. Now the top three. A little bit of a distance ahead. So I'm going to have to get our head down now. Make sure we... Don't make any silly mistakes here. A little bit wide there, onto the grass. Okay, very good. Up against the wall beautifully. Okay, down the hill we go. Bring it nice and early to try and get this turned. Oh, broke perfectly, apparently. There's a Carrera RS. And we are through. Up in the third position now. Top two going to be a little bit more difficult to catch, I think. smashing it at the moment with this Aston Martin DB11 the corner we go down the inside of the BMW M303 that was actually a pretty good corner for the BMW steals the march on us nearly corrected too much there and that would have been everything over there so this is a chance nicely done and round the outside we go that is perfect on the AMG get onto the grass but we do disappointing but we have managed two laps of this circuit now We're very much in the lead but again another poor mistake oh and now we're gonna have to work hard again
So up the hill we go. Maraglino up ahead. Past him we go. And we got Beauvoir. Didn't break early enough this time. Straight into the barriers we go. Once again they managed to get past us. It's crazy how topsy-turvy this race is becoming. And now we need a perfect final lap. 3.8 seconds slower that time as we were pushing it a little bit harder. Oh, out onto the grass. This is the thing, we get past somebody and then they're straight back through. We are nine seconds ahead of P4. Around the outside beautifully. This is unbelievable. At this rate, we're not we're not going to be getting the victory. We know that victories are worth a, lo a load more credits than they were in yesteryear. So, got to nail the rest of this now. was the part of the circuit we messed up last time. This time pulling it down to around the same speed as the AMG then pulling it down the inside. Absolutely perfect. Nailed it. This is actually quicker than our fastest lap so far. But that is not the quickest way around that corner and he's going to be back through is he? Yeah. We are still ahead of third though. But we've got the, the downhill section coming. And this is the last bit, the last place it can go wrong. Okay, round the final corner we come and up to the line and that is a very hard fought victory. We will certainly settle for that. Very good. Love it. But look how bad it are. Uh, Aston Martin is poor guy. Well, there you go. But we should get a nice wad of money and it is 25 grand in the bank. Nearly up to 400,000 credits now, which is good. And we've unlocked the Alfa Romeo Competizione. And we're up to level 13, collector's level, which is good. So let's uh, see what this uh, Alfa Romeo is all about. He's, he was singing its praises before. We'll drive it in the next one. In uh, Brands Hatch, why not? We haven't ridden Brands Hatch for a long time. So it's Clubman 600, that's a 555 car. I wonder if we should tune it up first. Um, let's get some soft tyres on it for instance and really make it a, a beautiful car. So, um, get some soft tyres on it. Get some weight reduction going as well. Need to stage one first. Takes us up to 642. Should be uh, more than enough to get us going. So we'll do Brands Hatch. It's nice that we're unlocking more and more of the circuits now. So here we go. Let's see what this Alfa Romeo is all about. I'm excited. Love the steering wheel. Makes me want to play F1 2013 and, and get out on this track in an F1 car again. Mm. 
maybe even in the classic cars as well. Yeah, this car's good. This car is very, very good. Very nice. Z8 with his uh, roof off and much more understandable this time that he's got his roof off. It's a beautiful day at Brands Hatch. Such a classic circuit this one. Going to fly into the top three yet. As we go around the end of the first lap. Very good. And it's the same two guys that we are fighting once again. The Lamborghini and the AMG Mercedes. And we go down the inside. Beautiful. Can't wait to start getting Lambos and Ferraris in the collection. Porsches, Mercedes cars. It is... Getting into a real exciting part of the game now, I think. Where those cars are going to be a reality. But this is an absolute pleasure to drive this Alpha so far. A little bit wide there, and that's going to be straight into the tyre wall. So, once again, first and second make their way past. Third is just there. Let me rear view mirror. Down the hill we go. We'll dab on the brakes and just pull it round. It's got the grip. Slightly harder stamp on the brakes through there. Down the hill we come. Then back up the hill. Go down the inside of the Lambo. Oh, that's beautiful. following Beauvoir up towards the final corner. So here we go, we're going for it now. It's got slightly better straight line speed. Should be able to make the first corner stick. Very good. Lovely. What sort of time can we put in here? So we did a 1.39 in the last lap. Yeah, that wasn't great. Two tenths quick as it stands. Can probably improve that as the lap goes on. Down the hill, remember, little dab on the brakes. Throw it round, let it drift, that's okay. Slightly harder stamp on the brakes through here. Touch the curb on the inside and roll it through. The sense of speed is just amazing. Not when you're in the gravel trap. Oh no. Let's not be overtaken. No! It's Beauvoir again. Right, we're going to have to go up to the final corner and overtake him here. It's going to have to be around the outside as well, which isn't ideal. But we hold it beautifully. And here we come. Up to the line then. It's another hard fought victory this time we win around Brands Hatch and a lovely delicious amount of credits 25 grand in the bank once again and our mileage has been hit so we get another one star roulette ticket I wish you got more rewards for that there you go very very good 
we can be happy with that. So let's uh, move on to our final race, probably of the episode. We're already at the half an hour mark. I don't want to make these videos always uh, stupidly long. I want you to be able to keep up with the series and enjoy it and not have to skip through. So we'll go to Sardinia in the Clubman uh, 600. Here we go, road track A. Yeah, this is a beautiful track as well. Yes, it's good. I can't believe how good this car is. It is just so sweet to drive. Nice and close up against the wall. Yeah. Don't hit the barrier. Just get as close to the wall as you can. Apparently we have to dry uh, <laughs> break a little bit earlier for that one. Getting back up to speed is quite difficult. Throwing the Volkswagen Sirocco there. Oof. That's a little hit. Just go down the inside here. Good. Past the 208, I assume that is. No, it's not. Peugeot. Wasn't though. And now on to Maraglino. A straight line speed difference. Too much. Oh no. Nasty corner. Just trying to take it too hard. In those turns. This wasn't the flat out corner apparently. Oh my word, we are absolutely beating up this car. You can see how much uh, paint we've scraped off it. Let's have a little chase for now. I mean, look at how beautiful this car is. And now we go around the outside. Up the hill. This is the flat out corner I was thinking of. Too late last time. This time, absolutely smashed it. under the grass, that's not what you want. Tell you what, that AMG Mercedes must be pretty quick. Because we have struggled to get past him. Now on the pit straight, is this going to be a faster slap? Should be pretty close. Ooh, five tenths off, so got to go and get a, a faster slap now. We can do it. can't. 
perfect first corner through we get nice and this corner is not flat out and neither is this one coming up Point eight seconds. Open our previous time as we go flat out all the way to the top of the hill. We know we need to break around about the 150 meter board. Perfect. Oh dear, lost me focus there. Crikey. I was just looking at that beautiful mountain over there. Look at that. Don't do it again, Joe. Don't do it again. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry, Alpha Romeo car. We are just so comfortable out in the lead here. And the, wow, that mountain just looks so good. But here we come, up to the line. It's going to be another brilliant victory. Another 25 grand in the bank. And the Alfa Romeo collection complete. Well, very good. Twenty-five grand in the in the bank. That is what we're talking about. And uh, the Alfa Romeo collection is complete. And we are moving on now, and we'll go and talk to our good friend Luca before finishing off the episode. Beautiful car. Right. Okay, back we go. Four hundred thousand credits. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, look at that. He's happy with that. So we get a three-star roulette ticket. Menu book number 23 completed. I don't know how many menu books there are in this game. Maybe somebody could let me know down in the comments. One of the oldest out of the numerous car brands in Italy is Alfa Romeo of Milan. Established in 1910, they've been around for well over a century. Its emblem is also something of a classic. Combining the cross of the city of Milan with the snake, that is the symbol of the local house of Visconti. It's been their company badge from the very beginning. In 1911, Alfa Romeo took part in its first Grand Prix, along with other manufacturers from various countries. And between the 1920s and 30s, Alfa Romeo racing cars won GP race after GP race. Since then, they have produced many legendary sports cars that carry the performance over their race cars. Uh, and of course, Alfa Romeo still continues that tradition today. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, so, we need to use the circuit experience to learn about a track. That is going to be in the next episode, though. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Gran Turismo content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.